Hello my loves, welcome back to Love What Luck. I'm so excited because I finally got some guests on. I think it was last week I was like I need guests on. And we've worked fast and we've got returning this week, finally, after a long break. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie Beaver and Lucy Mary. Welcome girls. Um, I just have to preface the episode by saying Don Vito is here, Lucy's Chihuahua, who sounds like a pig. Yeah. And Lucy and still hasn't put her batteries in oh, in the smoke <laughs> So I'm gonna, do my, I'm gonna do my best to edit out that little bee. Mm. If you yeah, please forgive. Forgive it. So we're also getting ready to go out for Halloween. We're a little bit late, but I have got I've got an intense red lip on, which I wouldn't usually wear. Yeah. I feel like I've got an intense lip on. Nice. No, I don't really do makeup though, do I? So like whenever I do any makeup, it's like vroom, drag. I think give me an hour or <laughs> two out know. and maybe a Jager bomb or two and you're not going to be able to see the white in my eyes anymore. <laughs> yeah. Lucy's gone for a smoky eye mm. look. Mm. I love nice. it. Um, I've got a jumpsuit on which is half tied around my waist. <laughs> Sophie's kindly given me a hoodie. So, you know. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we're back together. Yeah. So, it's been so long, It's been it? so long. I... I don't even know where to begin. Where to begin? Because no. I I actually didn't listen to our last episode. Also, I can't remember when it was, so I don't know what the last status was. But yeah, do you want to give us a little feedback of how how this year has been going for you? Um, I can start by saying I've been on a single date this year. No, no, not one, wow. not one, not one. I can honestly say I'm in my hermit stage. That's okay. Mm. Yeah, like mm -hmm. that is. I'm really good with it. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just feel like there's obviously a few little tiny stories I could tell. Always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But is that because you're just not interested? I don't know. Or is it just I not deal the right person? Kisses and tells. I just don't know what <laughs> I want. Like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Check our last episode, Girls yeah. Kiss, and they do tell. <laughs> they tell everything. They tell all the details. I just don't know what I want anymore. So I feel like I've... I did have sort of a... I had a, a low, not low, that's the wrong word, short relationship last year. Mm. And I thought that was going to go one way and it didn't. And I think I've just, I'm just, I'm still cursed. Every person I meet goes on to meet the love of their life. And I don't know if love is for me. Do you feel like that last relationship you had has had an effect now on your dating this year? In a way, yeah, because I can't be asked anymore. Mm. In another way, no, because, mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because I don't. I don't wish the person any bad at all. Mm. We just wound the right people. Yeah, that's a very mature, nice outlook mm. to have on it. Mm. But and I said this on was it last week an episode? I was like sometimes like when things go wrong between a couple, it's not always personal. Sometimes no. it's literally just that you're not the right match. It's mm. not right. And even though it's hard to see you when you're in it, mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes it's very good if you can step back and just be like, do you know what? I do feel it's like, not... not like we say like in a different timeline or different mm. timing or if our mm. lives had crossed at a different point, maybe. maybe. And then ain't over to the top. <laughs> but I guess we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know now. And Luz, what about you? Um, what have you been up to lately? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, I came out of a year relationship. Mm. And mm. That's big. Mm. It didn't feel like a year, did it? It went very fast, I think. I think it went mm. fast, but it was for, like, do you know all those reasons you just said? They, like, it just weren't right. It wasn't right, it yeah. just wasn't right. Now I'm dating. You've dusted your shoulders and mm -hmm. you've gone straight back up. Oh, I'm back on the horse. And what have you oh, been... Oh, not straight back. <laughs> not bounce back like she used to. I've taken a minute. Yeah, that's I've true, I've come actually. to my senses. Bad word. Making better decisions. Making better life choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amelia said to me the other day, she was like, do you think you will make decisions for yourself for now or the future? Mm. And I was like, now. Mm. And I'm like, maybe that's not the way to go. And she mm. said, me as well. But she's like, now I'm starting to think, obviously we're in our 30s, like this is our life. And maybe mm. maybe now is the time to start making decisions for the future. Not like for stuff mm. that just feels good now. Do you know what though? I spent so much of my life making decisions about the future and they never ended up how I thought it would. So mm. just go with it. Just see what's in front of you. Yeah, because you can never plan. Because anyway, you can never you know. plan. You never mm. know which way it's going to go. Even mm. when you feel like you I know which way it's going to go. 
And I feel like yeah, some no. days are just so chaotic. You've just got to take them oh, as they are. Come. Just take each day as it comes. Don agrees. Don. We're in the middle of something, yeah. Uh, so Lucy's back on the dating scene and I just needed to tell There's her... There's nothing that excites me more than Lucy's <laughs> back on the dating scene. I just needed to tell everyone more you were doing this week to prepare for your date. I was eating a lot of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I only thought that was a myth from a Rick Ross song. No, I googled it. And then, did oh, so it's so legit. correct. Then. Is it? It's legit. It's so correct. Hmm. I think it's like a certain uh, vitamin in it. Yeah, so I came down to Lucy's last night and she was up. She's like, yeah, and I, you know, I was ready. I was eating pineapple all week and I just thought it was the funniest thing. You For anyone that's unsure, mm. apparently if you eat pineapple, it makes you a JJ. It tastes nice. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, you that that's proper, you know, you're taking it seriously. This day I, was, I was dedicated <laughs> to the cause. I was dedicated to the cause. Oh, Don's darling. come alive as soon as we've recorded, by the way. I know. Quiet the old time. I think he's excited by the three witches of Easter. Sat on his, <laughs> <laughs> the sand of the sun. Stirring a cauldron again. <laughs> yeah, the girls are always the ones that if there's a full moon... Or a new moon, or like anything to do with astrology, we're always in the group chat and we're mm, saying to look at the sky, look at the moon. Take the energy. It's a new moon yeah. tonight. Okay, so what choices would you say now you're making differently and better for your future self in your dating life? Well, and, and for yourself, maybe. Mm. I just, I don't want to let just anybody in. Mm. I think mm. time is precious, and yeah, I just don't, unless it's something real and like something I, I don't know I don't know yeah. to explain it I just something you feel is going somewhere yeah then I just don't I'm not gonna let just any old body in mm. and I would say you're making better choices now with the people that you're the age you know, yeah <laughs> crucially the age yeah usually you go for somebody I think that's you know a little bit on the young side it's patterns <laughs> there's oh. patterns there's signs <laughs> and they're just not gonna be in the same phase of life is mm. it you know which is fine yeah yeah so yeah but I think as well once you get into your 30s you can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different outcome what did I say mm. I said this last mm. night I can't Great. expect new like a new outcome if I'm taking the same actions over and over again I feel the, the same. same song and dance like I'm over it this is what yeah. I've realized I'm doing mm. I attract a project mm. in some way and when, do you attract them almost, not on purpose, but like when you find a project, do you think to yourself, mm, that's yeah. somebody I, you know, I, you see the potential and you almost I get see. Really excited for it. This sounds really vain and really like, oh, I'm the best thing since sliced bread. But I see how I can make them better. Mm. And I think I'm investing. And then I'm like, yeah, come on, we can conquer the world. But they don't agree. So not that they don't agree, but they don't want to do the work that I think they need to do to be their best self. You can't take a horse to water and make a drink. Drink, you can't. <laughs> oh my God. That is a lot. I thought I had no more lessons to learn and that is 100% the lesson I needed to learn. You yeah. can't take horses to water and make them drink. And mm. I would rather be single for the rest of my days than be with someone I know I'm compromising for. Mm, definitely. I yeah. think being in a relationship is more lonely than being alone. If you're in the wrong relationship. If you're in the wrong one. Yeah. If you're in the wrong I one. I agree. So, yeah. So it's all consuming me. in it when you're in a relationship. Oh, so if it's the wrong one. Mm. Yeah. I think the stuff that I do differently now, not that I've been single in my 30s for that long, but I feel like now I can definitely see a change in not wanting to mess around. Mm. Like, before mm. I would always date, like, when I was in my 20s, I always dated casually and like that was my point like I never mm. wanted to settle mm. down and I do think it just happens with age it somehow creeps up on it and I'm like I actually don't want to just be mm. dating around. it's not actually as fun now it's just more effort yeah <laughs> oh my god it is effort though. so much it's effort, effort. It's just more effort and I think I when you get time. older you're like yeah you just don't want to give the time to the wrong people yeah. we spoke about this as well it's like slotting somebody into your life mm. 
it's got to be a perfect mm. puzzle piece because yeah. otherwise it just doesn't work. Because I feel like when I was young, I'd be out like on a Monday and I'd be on a date with someone and I wouldn't even be enjoying the date, but I'd still stay out until mm. two or three in the morning mm. with them. Imagine you know, Just to have a nice oh, day. I would, yeah. be, I would be rousable till Thursday. If yeah. I... <laughs> Honest to God, no, I'm going on a night out now. I need five days. I am still Post. from last weekend. The lights ah, are on. Nobody's, nobody's home, been like, all, all week. week. All week. So, I was just saying, I don't know where to come out tonight because last time I went out to the I wasn't right till Wednesday. No. Nah. <laughs> that was last weekend. That's None that of us have been right. <laughs> no, if we went out, like we used to go out, like we used oh. to be out every weekend, no matter what. Mm. If there was something going on, we were there. No, now imagine doing our now. Oh, We've been wasting our lives. I could never. I could never. I'm a guest appearance kind of girl now. Mm-mm. And if I knew that, we creeps up on it with age. Because oh. when I was in my twenties, and I see people saying that, I'd be like, never, never. Me. never. Yeah, As I'm in the me. club, I'm like, never gonna be me. Oh, it, it, me. it becomes you pretty quick. <laughs> I'm devastated because I thought the party girl in me was never dying. Oh, and she's... Well, can I just say, no, the party girl needs to be here today, though, tonight. She's on... Because we're going to go for a dance. <laughs> she's she's on... obsessed My... to go for a dance. A <laughs> dance. <laughs> My party girl is definitely oh. in a retirement era. Now I'm not all for the club. I like a nice dinner. I like some drinks at the bar. I like some pre drinks. Oh, the club rat in me has died. The club rat in me has died, yeah. I, I can't need to have a, a, a toast to that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was in a club. Oh, I can actually. August though. Oh, how do I see you? We're in November now. Fuck. Yes. To you. <laughs> mm. Talk about those better life choices. Yes. Mm. Okay, I've got some questions. Let's go. Okay, at what point in a relationship do you think it's time to go public on social media? I don't think I've really, I've never posted anyone on my Instagram. Mm. Honestly, if I'm ever in a relationship again, it's going to take out my five to find out who they are. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a lie. I go kind like. of like the opposite. Because it kind ruins of it. Mm. Mm. No, I people think... who are posting, I can see fucking through it. Yeah. Also, you've got to rally the roster if it goes south. So yeah! <laughs> like, I'm going to let like... the roster know! <laughs> Who needs to let them know? You know the guys, the fans, the ones who like your stories. Mm-hmm. I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to keep your options open. You've got to keep them, yeah. History has told me. One street themselves. There'll be, there'll be nothing, and then there'll just be like a pic- picture with a ring on. <laughs> and then will be like, what the hell? Yeah. yeah no, no one's going to know what now. my long, what's the word? Love of my life looks like until he's the groom. Mm. No one. Fair. Uh, what's your biggest turn on? Mine is, it remains slightly larger in some sort of way. Like. A penis or what? No. <laughs> Form. You're like a big guy. Mm. Who's strong. Not like big as in like big, like. They just have to be like strong. Look like they could mm. run a marathon tomorrow. Like. No, like someone who just looks fit. Mm. But doesn't okay. try. Someone just naturally fit looking. Bit of a beard. The trade, because it's so handy. Mm. Someone who knows how to do something. Make yeah. them useful. A trade, definitely. That is attractive. So mm. To have someone that will just do stuff. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine mm. being with someone who's like, ah, oh, I don't like. No, I've heard bad things about electricians. I was going to use an electrical. Mm. Oh, I need that moving, and they just do it. And they just do oh, it. Imagine that. Or like you just simple things. I want to put a picture up on the wall, and then like right, let's Bosh, do it. Bosh, done. They got their nice. level out. They drill. Lovely. Yeah, and they do a good job. Oh, that is hot, though, isn't it? That mm-hmm. would be so good. Yeah. Yes. Hmm? I feel like we could probably answer you as. Yeah. I can answer you as. I'll tell you if it's true. <laughs> tradesman who wears the trousers, you know, the trouser, the tradesman trousers. Like fit the actual trousers. The boots, if you've got the boots as well. A belt with tools in, that's another point. <laughs> tattoos, tattoos, a beard, some sort of fade. Tattoos to the neck. Traditionally, neck well. I would have said 28 and below. Now, yeah. I think we're in a new era. Mm. You, I think you like at least visually a bad boy. Oh, they gotta look like they've been in jail. Yes, yeah, so yeah. some of your choices <laughs> are questionable. <laughs> but then, no, because sometimes I look at them and I think, okay. no, not that. 
like much the opposite. Yeah, like, but you say this said last night about this new guy that I'm dating, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna meet him at Christmas. Mm, I had a feeling. She's like, Shut I'm gonna up. meet him. He's gonna be here mm. at Christmas. I'm like, gonna I can just him. picture that I'm gonna meet him. <gasps> That's a premonition. We'll see. Well, we'll see. I'll look back in Christmas. To time. be continued. I'll let the podcast know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your biggest turn off? like a stuck record if I say mine no come on you say you you go first boys who live with their mammies <laughs> who do you know our age who's a girl who has at some point moved out yeah. she might go back after a breakup yeah, give yeah. her a couple of months she's back on her feet yeah so true boys who live with their mammies are waiting for their wife to look after them the same way their mammies do oh such a good shout mm. yeah because they haven't moved out by themselves so they'll move in then with their new girlfriend they live with her so that she does for him what the mommy does. Oh my god. <laughs> I like break spell. through. No. Nah, yeah. Stand on your own two feet. Because if I can do it, earning less money than you, why can't you? Mm, that's really good. I also think it's Done. good when they've lived by themselves. They know how to do clean stuff. And yeah. wash their clothes. And they all know that. that if the mug is there, the mug will stay there until they move it. Mm. Simple things. Yeah, I could they never trained. be with someone that is messy and doesn't oh, pull their weight around no. at home. Mm, no. That that would be like a... Not even a nick, that would drive me mental. Don't actually. get me wrong, I'm not like the most tidiest, like cleanest person ever. But you can see a job needs to be done. So if you can see it, I can see it. Mm-hmm. Why haven't you done it? You know? Yeah. That kind of, yeah. No, what's a turn off for me? Mm. Guys that done put the effort in... With the texting Preach or, or to you me, know the communication. Sister. If mm. somebody takes hours to text back to me, I'm immediately like, right, you're not interested, no. you're not serious. That's that. I, get, I was interested. Yeah, yeah, same. It's just like an immediate thing. Um, I get people obviously you're working and mm. obviously that's fine. Mm. But if you're taking like a day to respond to me, how is mm. that ever gonna work? Oh, it's all just the way me- off for me. Yeah, it's just an mm. immediate no for yeah, me. No. That that's Yeah, I think that uh, I think it in this day and age just establish what you're doing early doors because yeah if what if if you just want a bit of fun and it's going to be a saturday night kind of thing just communicate that just say say this is yeah. the stage of my life i'm at and i can be okay with it you know if that's what you're both doing you've got a mutual respect for each other lovely you just know where you're at then don't but you like, like don't pretend to be my future husband if you ain't gonna be yeah I don't, yeah, that's so true. Don't, like, make yeah. promises that you're not, you're not intending to even keep, like, yeah. mm-hmm. you, there's no there's no need to even, yeah. And I also don't, like, a non-planner, <sighs> I've realised, because I hate planning stuff, yeah. like, mm-hmm. properly, so I just really appreciate someone that's, like, if they want to take it out, they say there's a plan, Yeah. Mm-hmm. they sort it yeah. out. Let like, me know. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Why, mm-hmm. I just feel like that is, like, a unicorn in this day and age we like looking for people who don't exist because i just have yet to meet a man who's got initiative oh no i have they have to mm-hmm. they have to but obviously i also have people though. that haven't and yeah. it's just like no oh, i don't know oh we should go for a drink yeah all right well ask me then let's, let's do mm-hmm. it then mm-hmm. yeah we should mm. what vocabulary is that mm. not interested in that yeah say so when you're free this week yeah bang yeah. easy do you want to I think I've seen before on TikTok men going in the uh, fan in eras. Yeah, like waiting to be asked. <laughs> yeah, oh, and I'm like, lower. look, come on. We've moved forward a lot, I get it. There's equality around, but like, mm. uh, you can ask someone out. Come yeah. on now. Or waiting to be texted first. Oh. And I don't even want to be chased. I just want to be directed, you know. Yeah. It's not hard. Yeah, it's not about a chase. No, Mm-mm. you don't have to chase me far. <laughs> I don't what, know. What's hotter than somebody texting you and you texting back within five minutes and they text again? <laughs> like, what's hotter than that? So this sounds know? like scraping the fucking barrel. <laughs> it it's makes me sad. <laughs> little dings of happiness. No. I don't that want to ask what stage I'm at. No, I'm over it. I'm smiling at my phone, hit me with a brick. Yeah. But I do think as you get older, it's easier to identify what's right and what's wrong. Because, mm. like, the right person, oh, the person you're know. meant to be with, oh, I do. I just think it all oh. flows easily. Oh, yeah, but it's fucking yeah. kicking me in the guts at the moment because I, I just think every time I think, oh, yeah, I can see how this would work, or oh, I could see how I could get on with this person, and then I'm like, oh, again, no. no I'm it's really. It's the keyword they could. If I was a therapist now, she'd be like, 
interesting you say could, could see yeah. that no yeah. I do I'm see already it. project like, yeah, you know what I'm doing it. it's me hi <laughs> that's what I do now but sometimes I'm like what would my therapist say now oh <laughs> you sound like you're an American I know I love her though I told her last week I'm I was a therapist like, I was like I just really appreciate talking to you <laughs> I was like sometimes I'll say stuff to you and then I'll tell my mother and I was like well I told you that and I'm like I won't listen to you though. <laughs> yeah. I listen to the woman that I've seen four times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a bit of a rogue one. If you could travel to any year in a time machine, what year would you choose and why? Hmm. I do think I would be like 10 years older. Some of the people who oh. were like teenagers in the early 90s. Hmm. That era. You think that when they weird. are teenage, early twenties, no social media, no phones, no nothing. You made a plan on a Friday when I left school to meet this person. You all just turned up. Where were we buying the drink? And then to? you, <laughs> there was no one to compare you to. So I seen a TikTok the other day. There was like, because men see so many women now. When they see a beautiful woman, they're not like blown away by her mm. because. They just so used to see it. Had, so like, if you yeah. kept that local and you went out the night out and some some boy in the corner probably plays rugby. If we talk about my scenario, <laughs> and he looks over at me and goes, "Oh my god, she's stunning!" And then he comes over to you and chases her, and then you were together and you keep going out together and all this nineties love. And you stay together. You have Holding. babies together. You get married. Mm. Lovely. That. That's mm. what I come back to. That's very interesting. Mm. Mm-hmm. I have no clue where I would go back to. Mm. I honestly don't. I think I would probably go back to the year just after COVID that I moved into my flat with Amelia. I don't know what year that was. But I just feel like that was... like 22. Yeah, I just feel like that was a really fun year. I just like... New first went back to London after mm. Mm. It was all fresh and It was new like freedom. And living, moment, yeah, yeah, and I was living in like such a nice flat and everything was very good and happy mm. I'd probably go back to that year mm. but that's what a personal I... year or one you've experienced it's a personal yeah. year yeah and sometimes now that's why I'm like that would be a good year feeling wise to get back to mm-hmm. about yeah. myself but would I if somebody yeah. said oh you actually go back or would I act, if I actually had to take a pill like Matrix vibes I probably <laughs> wouldn't go back like mm. you don't tend mm. to do no would you go back though if you knew what you knew now <sighs> yeah Mm. Oh, I'd be messing up with the mm. with the system. Mm. Yeah, I would, because there's things that I wish mm. I knew now. Oh my god! To deal with that, I think things would be different now if I mm. knew. Yeah. Then, mm. if that's mm. the case, there's so many interventions I would stage in my life decisions. Mm. I would go back to so many points and be like, nah. Wrong decision. Oh, Wrong yeah, decision. same, actually. Oh, I could oh. go back way further and be like, wouldn't have gone out with you. Wouldn't have, no. <laughs> wouldn't have moved you. Wouldn't have done that. A hundred, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. There's a few that I could tick off the list and be like, no. Mm. Not for me, no, thank you. There are, like, one or two people that I would think, hmm, save for later. Mm. Mm. I look back and I think, if we met later in life... Uh, yeah, you do care that, worked. though, to do. You have, like, one or two people and you think, oh, this is... Right person, possibly wrong timing. Wrong time, yeah. Yeah, I believe in that. I'm seeing all mm. over TikTok now that there is no right person, wrong time because you know the, the the right person will all you know it'll all it'll be right and it'll always work. But I do believe in right person, wrong mm. time. I do. Because mm, like I said, well, sometimes it's not personal. Sometimes you're just not in the right headspace mm. or something. Yeah, yeah. I think. And so. there are you you do go through different stages of life, and sometimes you're not at the same place, like, and that's okay. Right, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Nothing. I am who I am. And who I'm not, I'll never be. That's good. That's very freeing, isn't it, to be able to say that? Mm. That's not my answer. Take me or, <laughs> take me or leave me. This is yeah. who I am. There's a That's lot good. of me that feels mm. like that. Mm. I'm over it. Like, I, yeah. like I don't... I'm overstressed about what somebody else thinks of me. Like, yeah, yeah nice. just done. Yeah. I'm free. That's a big part of my personality, to be honest. Like, I, I really care about what other people think. Mm. But I do think, lately, I've been reflecting, like, am I unlovable? Is what? is there something about me Definitely that is just not, no, not really? right? How yeah. Sad. Because I feel like I've encountered so many people 
that we've all been excited about, not just me. Yeah. That it's been like, oh my god, this could be. I was the first so human. excited about that. This is the last relationship, is it? Mm. I was so excited about him. Yeah. Until I wasn't. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but, no. Mm-mm. But, there was yeah. a lot of exciting elements about mm. that, and like you said, didn't you say she mm. thought he was the one? Mm. Mm. Anyway, we've got to say it, right. It was like a light yeah. audience, <laughs> and she doesn't want to come on. <laughs> no, but she yeah, did. I really did. When you first told me, I was like, "Oh my god!" I thought that was it. Yeah, I was excited about that one. Mm. I don't think I feel like as heartbroken as that statement deserves. No, because like, you've been in the pits a bit, haven't you? Mm, yes, yeah, just a bit. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I haven't. Yeah. You know, if someone could tell me when I'm going to meet the one, I would be happy. Oh, I always used to say that. Mm. When I moved to London, I was, in, in my, I was, like, 25, and I didn't want a boyfriend at all, but I was mm. like, all I want is somebody to just say to me, you're going to meet him this age, like, and I'll be fine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So as long as you know that... Because you can just have that a lovely time up until that yeah. point. Yeah. Like, not mm-hmm. that I'm that hung up on it. Because I said to you earlier, didn't I? I don't even know if I want to be in a relationship anymore. I don't. And my whole thing is, like I said, it's just hard to slot someone into oh, this life. Like, I've built this little life. Yeah, you've got, and you've I've got, got my routine. Life, you've and got, you know, you've got a child. Don't, and... I said this earlier, the last mm. two weeks, I feel like I'm stopped. It's been... Mm. 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 It's been a lot. What was the question? <laughs> Did I ask a question? Did I? Oh, one thing to change about yourself. Yeah. My <laughs> yeah. That's very sad to you that you think. And I'm surprised mm. that you think that. No, this I, I don't not love myself. No. Like, I have deep self love. I know who mm. I am. I'm a confident, independent, strong woman. Mm-hmm. But there is something about that that men just don't like. Mm. I feel desirable. Like, yeah. you don't have to struggle yes. physically Please. for that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know they fancy me. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I don't feel like it goes beyond that, and there's so much more to me. And how I look, like, I don't even look that great. Like, I, no, you know? Did you hear, um, have you listened to Maura Higgins on the podcast she did with yes. Paul Brunson? And she like said, this, like, a similar thing where she's, like, so strong and mm. forward and confident, mm. but she said when she's actually in a relationship, she wants to be, like the vulnerable and she wants mm. like clutches and she wants to ask for help mm. now and she said that she feels like the guys don't expect that of her because of mm. what she's mm. like and then when that comes she said they feel she feels like I it doesn't work out that so and that's much. what reminded me yeah. of them but that's the thing though when you are in that safe space like when I'm in a safe space I am a lover a tart I'm a lover girl mm. <laughs> absolute 100% yeah me too I think I might be the opposite, you know. I think I'm a lover girl all openly, but when I am actually in a relationship, I'm lovey, but I'm also, like, quite guarded. Demonic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think I've shown time and time again that I can rise to the occasion. Like, I've seen people... when I've, I think I've spent the majority of my life single, but when I've been in relationships, like, if they've been going through something, I've been there for them wholeheartedly, mm-hmm. supporting them, making their lives easier. Mm-hmm. I just never get in return. And I think... That's what I'm not willing to settle for, is not getting in return. Last year for um, New Year's Eve, we went on the table and everyone's like, well, obviously, what's your New Year's resolution? So this would have been something that I wanted to change about myself before, but I think I've done it. My New Year's resolution last year was to not be so reactive. So mm. like, if something happens that like I don't like or whatever, to not flip off the handle and try and not stress out and not get angry. And I think I've done that, well actually. Done. That's really mm. big. Yeah. So I'm quite pleased for myself mm. for that. I think that's such a My good thing My personal growth would be mm. talking because mm. I shut off, don't I, a lot? And I yeah. go, I go I inward and well. go off the grid and I've got to process and think it through my mm. way. But I am more forthcoming with communication. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't... Also, I haven't spoken to you today, and then I messaged you, like, are you all okay for today? And it was one tick, and I was like, oh, she's gone off the grid. <laughs> she's Shit. gone off grid. <laughs> no, I did at one point last night, didn't I? When we were in the kitchen, I was like, no, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> did you mention, is Lucy okay? I was like, she's fine, she's just on airplane mode. Hey, she's the one you need on you, because biddy biddy. One of the girls <sighs> is left up, isn't she? She's in her feels. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. Because mm. she has been in hermit mode for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And just to come out to that now and decide this mm-hmm. is what she wants, I'm so proud And it's of just everything is, like, lining up for her. Yeah. And I'm so, so I don't think, and that's why I associated with that you, that I said I want to go back to. I think, like, when you're fully good with yourself and you're happy and you're confident, like, things mm. just start to align better for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
A hundred percent. The universe rewards him so right for these things. <laughs> At the right time and not a minute too soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, okay, what's the wildest thing you've ever done? I there's there's oh, too many answers for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Like I'm gonna need a lawyer. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lawyer to answer that question. Yeah, I cannot an- answer that question without. I cannot. I cannot answer that question. I always associate Lucy's wildest time. It's probably not her wildest time, by the way. But the time you worked for the hairdressers, Aww. the hair, the personality transplant that came with our short back and sides. <laughs> I was you were crazy. off the rails. Yeah. She went from good girl to crack head. Yeah, pretty real quick. quick. Yeah, it was without just like the every, crack. Every, without every, without the crack. Every time you see her, she'd have like different hair styles. There was like yeah. lots of shaving going on when you were she different hair colour. I did a bit short. Then, yeah. yeah. Then mm. you were extensions, and it was it was a reflection of your you life. You was just the time. living your best I was life. I expressed my yeah. feelings through my hair. Yeah, you was living your best <laughs> life. It wasn't was a party well, she though. wasn't at. Mm. You know. Okay, moving swiftly on from that. <laughs> I can't. I can't answer that. Uh, what's I the best advice it. you've ever received? Hmm. People will talk will talk about you whether you're doing bad or good. They just will. Just do, do what you want. want. My best advice is to, is trust your gut because mm. trust you never let you down your gut. You gotta mm-hmm. trust your gut. Oh, I do as well wholeheartedly. Mm. You know. No even mm. when you've been in a relationship and you look back, you always had a gut feeling early days. Mm. Mm. Yes. Something upset oh, the apple no. cart. Like there was a point, and you, you, you just remember that was it. the moment, like that this yeah. ch- everything changed. Your gut will always tell you, which is what's strange about the last little encounter that I had. Mm. Very casual. Hang on now, was this last weekend? No. Okay. Oh, do I know about this? I don't know. <laughs> she might not. No, yeah. I don't. Know. Is this Lion's Den? Right, do you want me to tell this story? <laughs> Okay. Well, it was a big. It was a big day in Ferndale that day. Okay. So it was a local derby. Right. Oh yeah. I was home, but was I never. Home. Did, I didn't come out. No. We, what did we do? It? it was the day after. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember. Mm. Okay. So I was at the pub now. Walks in with some of the girls, and I see this fella, and I've known him for a long time. Ne- nothing's ever happened. But I walked in and he like put his arm around me and like touched my waist and I had an instant. I'm going on with you tonight. Ooh. No, literally. Yeah. So I went over to one of my friends and I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm done doing that. And she was like, What are you on about? This is early. This is like yeah. five o'clock in the afternoon. And, and you know, you know. Yeah. It was later on in the night and he was like talking to another girl further down and I thought, no, this is not happening. So I seen him over by the bar and all the girls were like G and up to go to Squares, which is like my nemesis. So I, I just walked over to him and I was like, all oh, my friends are going to Squares. And I was like, I really don't want to go. And he went, do you want to come over with me? And I went, yes, please. And he walked out. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and That's it was that. incidentally one Laser. of the best experiences Daddy. of oh. my life this far. Wow. Nice. And, yeah. and when we got there, right, yeah. to his house, he said, are you okay? Like, do you feel safe? If you don't want to do this, I'll take you in. Oh, that's nice. That's always nice. I was Any male ready. listeners, that's a... Mm-hmm. That is a green, a... green flag. Yeah, that's nice. No, he's lovely, but I don't know what his head's at. But, yeah. What happened after that? Anything? Um, it was in a day, right? It happened again. Hmm. Try about the time. <laughs> well but yeah I don't know maybe something will happen maybe it won't well see yeah but do you remember that was it like a spiritualist or somebody you saw yeah that said that you'd end up with someone you've known then mm. mm. this is another I've story I did consider remember, remember I told you about the guy who I think so there's a guy who I think is the one right right since I've seen a psychic she said to me, like, you're going to meet someone in 18 months' time or within that time, but you already know them. Mm. And she said, and it's the one. Um, but you already know them. And I was like... And I instantly thought this boy, and I've only met him twice. Mm. But we met him in Platform 11. <laughs> I don't even remember meeting him. 
but he remembered us. Bender, and yeah. I went out with my friends from work, um, and he came on to me in this place in Cardiff, and he was like, he said my name, and then he said their names, and I was like, how do you know me? And we got talking, and I just remember being like giddy, thinking like, oh my giddy God. biddy. And he's not in my classic type, but he is a little bit of a. Um, and we followed each other on Instagram. The girls and we were calling breakfast date boy because we were supposed to go on a breakfast date and I swapped a shift and we never went on it. And since mm. then, we've kept in contact for like... It's like three years now, isn't it? Mm. Three in years? Some, yeah. In some way, we've kept in contact and watched each other's lives and I was convinced it was him, but I think he's got a boyfriend. And when I mm. seen that sidekick, I felt like I knew who he was and now I don't. Yeah, and now you don't know. Mm. So yeah, lost. Right, we, we've got Dawn up on the settee now, I so expect tech. some Brenton. Uh, what's your first thought every morning? Not another day. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the hocus pocus thing which goes? No. Another day in... What's that mean? Um, oh, I know another I glorious morning <laughs> makes me sick. sick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Me and Dawn are like, I'm wee baby. My first thought when I open my eyes is, has I got anxiety? <laughs> and then some days, anxiety triggering yeah. behaviour some, <laughs> some days I'm like oh I haven't and other days I'm like yes you have <laughs> it's you I really don't suffer from anxiety oh I don't care. you to be fair I'm really good now I, I don't mm. have it much now not I know in as bad as I used to mm. I literally but when I go to sleep I go into like a ball and into off mode and then mm. the alarm goes off I'm up. What day is it? What time is it? What have I got going on? Like, get up, get out. Like, so that that makes me. Mm. I am proper. Like, right, got to do this, 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 and this, and this, and this by eight o'clock for a day. I'd be overwhelmed because it's a lot she's up on. before her alarm. She doesn't even need the alarm. I've been up since gone five this morning. Oh, on my yeah. day off when I thought I was gonna lie oh, in. Oh, I wanted to lie in. Mm. I yeah, I've been up basically she's since such just a after five. Person. Wow, God. Mm-hmm. I'm an owl. I am a morning rat. It's more interesting to know what my last thought of the night is. Oh, yeah, okay. What's your last thought of the night? I don't know, probably similar. (laughs) Here I am again. 1 a.m. going to bed. No, I'm... uh, I don't know what my last thoughts are. My last thoughts for bed. Like, my lover girl comes up. I'd like a little spoon now. I'd like a little cut. Mm. I know I'm not ready. I don't know what my next thought is. <laughs> I'm about to sleep. Yeah. Do I have anxiety? Yeah. <laughs> no, night time I never have it, so I'm good. Mm. It's just the morning. But I think that's just through being used to having it because I used to have it in the morning, so now I'm like, have I? And yeah, so mm. I can have it almost. Mm. I, I wait for it sometimes. Mm. But it's I know when I get time. up, I got like, I'd make a cup of tea, put the speaker on that, and it's like the music is the decider which way is this day going. What are you <laughs> feeling? What are you thinking? Mm. You know? Mm. I have had to lean away from R and B a little bit in recent years because when I used to get up for work and I used to be depressed going to the office five days a week, I used to be listening to R and B every morning. And it was not helping me. Like uh. the slower, sadder songs I'd be like getting ready. So now Do I know always find my like playlist is a roller coaster. Mm. Also now though, like oh we love to listen to anymore. Oh like our telly was cancelled. As our child I'll be, be afraid if, I, if Asha goes down. That's, oh, that's that'll gonna be the end of me. Because if I never hear love in this club again, mm. oh. Asha, yeah, but Asha he's... would pay mm. would, would pay me, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if something comes out. Because he did get everyone herpes or something, didn't he? <sighs> yeah, I he mean, did. He went to court. I herpes judge or, some, or something. That. Something. Like obviously, mm. there's people throwing themselves at Asha. Don't obviously most mm. of it must be consensual because I consent. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah Asha would be a hard one for me it would be a hard one to lose there's going to be so many people though I think oh, implicated done. what if Beyonce goes down oh goes? never don't even <laughs> cutting this out I can't do any Beyonce that'd be R.I.P. me I will oh yeah I don't have to end my life mm, the Queen's dead <laughs> uh, mm. okay what is something you do solely for you I normally buy myself roses every week when I do the food shop me oh, too. that's so nice. And that's, Me yeah, too. like I yeah. flowers for myself. That's nice. I do as well, actually. I <laughs> shove a broom up my arse, I pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something I do for myself. I pay the mortgage, the <laughs> gas, the electric, the council. <laughs> something I do for myself. Yeah. Lots of ham, Donny. Skin care is something I do for myself. It's something that only I appreciate. Mm. And I am religious with it. 
Nice. I also love a DVD. Yeah, you do. Yeah, Lucy's the only person I know that still watches DVDs. It's bizarre. Yeah. I don't even know anyone's got a DVD player. When the when the internet goes down, old school. I'm gonna be fine Fine. because I've got DVDs. Like I have them, but they're in the attic. (laughs) (laughs) It's not something I crack. Yeah. Oh, fun, remember that? <laughs> or do you remember I, when I you had like those big sleeves, you know, like when you, mm. like people would get dodgy DVDs? My cousin. You'd have like a sleeve full of them, like copies of them. Yeah. Actually, last night I was talking about my uh, virginity CD that I got made when I lost my virginity. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I was like, I wish I still had that. Because I remember some of, cause some of the songs I hear and I'm like, this is on my virginity CD. <laughs> but I would love to just have the CD now, you know, to, mm. to know. Do you know where it is? No. Oh, my God. Imagine that. I just, like, turn up my power. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> cheese your songs as well. Like, oh. Do you know if that was me, I would 100% still have it because I'm a holder. Yeah, it must, it's probably like is in my mother's unless my mother's got rid of it somewhere. I don't you Imagine your mum found it. Sadie's virginity playlist. <laughs> no, no, I think it I think it was just like, I think it written my name with like hearts or something. You yeah. know? Do you guys think that sharing music is a love language? Yes. For you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like that as well. Mm. Yeah. I'm also big, like, I think I would struggle to be with someone that doesn't like the same in music as me. Obviously I can mm. have variations mm. but generally if I was putting a song on they didn't like it I would really struggle with that or if yeah, they're like I mean, completely different genre to me. I'm an all-rounder see. So yeah. mm. You I are. I got my go-tos yeah. like rap and R&B are my go-tos but yeah. I am an all-rounder but yeah. I, oh my god I if they were a chav who listen to friggin <gasps> boom 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 music yeah, constantly. Yeah hardcore rave music. <gasps> Imagine you getting I can't do the constant bang 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 I need something to sing along to it. Yeah. yeah. But do you know, um, I don't know whether I said this to you last night. I see this like guy that I'm dating. He was te- in the middle of texting me his songs of the day. He's literally as he sent it through. I was actually listening to the same song. No, I quickly I was like screenshot. I was like, oh my god, I'm listening to this right now. It's a sign. Mm. It's a sign. How wow. wild is that? It was Luther That's Vandross, good. Never Too Much. Oh, I love that. Never Too Much, Never songs. Too Much. Oh, yeah. Oh, he'd be welcome you with open arms. Mm. <laughs> We'd have a Bob Christmas time with us tomorrow. Oh, lush. Uh, what is something you dread? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go first work. Yeah. <laughs> That's my dread. We were saying this though, it serves a purpose to a, a certain extent, but oh my god, it's too much time. Mm. Too I much think time. I need a career change. Mm. Currently. I'm just a bit stuck in a rut. Yeah. I'm loving my just, job. It does it takes mm. up all your you time. Are, yeah. I am, you are, yeah. I'm really like uh, in such a good place and I've got mm. a chance to progress and yeah. Good. See, that might all be linked to like making better choices in your relationships yeah. mm. and stuff. Because you don't need sometimes like parts of your life to be right and to work. Yeah. You know, to, mm-hmm. to then make better decisions in your life. I do life think that's stuff. a big thing with my house as well. I like moving and. That's a big update. Mm. Yeah, I've got, yeah, a, new got a new house. That's nice. Mm. Um, I, which I do think has been holding me back massively because the house I was living in, I wasn't loving. And now I yeah, am. definitely. And now I am loving it. That's so the thing. Yeah. I think like work and home two massive things. If yeah. they're not right, it can really have an effect on. I them. do think this is why I don't meet anyone either because I've been so like hermit mode. Like mm-hmm. no one's coming in. Don't like this. Yeah, maybe I'm about to go for my cat list. Mm. I've just new had house, lots of new guests. But I feel like that's through like solitude. Mm. Mm. Uh, what is something you're looking forward to in your life? Just what's yet to come. Mm. All of what's yet to come. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm excited mm. for. I think you try to plan your life. You try to make expectations or where you're going to end up, what you're going to be doing. Mm. You never know. So mm. I'm just here to enjoy the ride now. Ride in the wave. Mm-hmm. Ride in the wave as always. Ride in the wave since 1991. Two for me. <laughs> what is something that would feel really good to get off your chest? <laughs> Hmm. I don't think that's something I can say without a lot of prayers then. I think something I need to get off my chest is the UK needs to do something about the cost of living because I am broke. And I'm not ready to be in my broke bitch era. No. I need to live life, do something about the cost of living, and then just turn up, be better, make plans, go after someone, see how much better your life is. Yeah. That's what I need to get off my chest. 
Uh, what's the craziest thing you've ever done to get someone's attention? <laughs> A podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what you do, actually. Quite common. I don't know if you want to announce it to the world, but you are the person that will have a close friends list, but we ain't on that we close, ain't friends, close friends, friends list. list. <laughs> okay, that's it is it. not PG. Mm-mm. It is. My content is PG, but the list is not PG. Or was. I'm not posting on my Silence. close friends at the moment. You haven't gone at the minute? No. no. I, I've got a list, but I'm not active on my close friends at the moment. No. I'm trying to stay home, so I'm trying being the keyword. <laughs> Get okay. his pause. Uh, what's your favourite thing about yourself? The intimidate man. Mm, nice. I don't know why. I don't try. I hope they feel inferior. Oh my god, Don, <laughs> Don has freaking grappled. That's why he hates me, because he's a man. Yeah. <laughs> your favourite thing about yourself? That I can put my hand to everything. I'm a jack of all trades. Mm, that's a good one. Hmm. I think mine is that I can see the best in people mm-hmm. and if somebody does something I can I can move past it and I can try and see the good rather than like thinking badly of everyone. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I like, like that. I can understand the reasons. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And I think that's... Very empathetic. Empathetic, yeah. <laughs> and I think I've said this on episodes before. I think sometimes that can be seen as a weakness, but I don't think it no, is. No, I don't think it is. Okay, last question. Tell me something good. <laughs> Tell me something, something good. good. Tell your, me your, that you <laughs> love me. Yeah. Your closing part for the <clears throat> listeners, watchers. Yeah, mine is I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm in a really good place. Unless you think you're going to be my husband, leave me the fuck alone. Yes. <laughs> Stay okay, away. my yeah. advice would be, um, what's meant for me will never miss me. That's so what I was going to say. what's the point in stressing mm. about anything? Because True. what will be, will, will be, will be. There's no point in stressing. My yeah. life is, I said something, I, we spoke about this, it was just like, some things don't impact your life whether they go good or bad so what's the point in like stressing because mm. you, you're going to remain exactly mm. the same yeah that was going to be mine and it sounds cheesy but i do believe it like what's for you can't pass you by mm-hmm. and what's not right for you one stay in your life no it just oh, can't no. you can't be comfortable in something that's not meant for you yeah. and i do believe as well do you know some people i feel are lessons or literally they mm. come into your life for lessons mm. When that's complete, like you just don't even bump into that person, you don't see them, um, no. there's no contact, like you just mad. That's it's it, that, that you know story what? is Especially played in you as well. Like, yeah, because mm. I was thinking mm. this about two of my exes in particular who live very close to me, really. I do not even see them or mm. know they exist. It's like they played the part. And I just think, yeah, learned your lesson. The universe, I have learned my lessons. Stop wasting my time. Yeah, we, we don't need any more lessons. No, no more lessons. Done. We've had enough I'm for pretty a while. sure we've said this on one of the previous episodes. Yes. Yes. Lessons. And yet, here we are. <laughs> no, I'm taking charge. I'm taking rain. Like, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Done disturb me. Nice. Well, thank you, girls. Cheers to that. If you're watching, please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe and follow. And yeah, leave me a review. Sounds up. What's that song? No. A little after 12. Make the breakfast for myself. Hit <laughs> the work for someone else. No People say, they say that it's just a face. <laughs> they tell me to act my age. Oh, what's that? What's acting your age? On this perfect day.